Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity on behalf of StarCast TV. Upper left hand corner, we have Jum Jum, aka Shuttle, starting as the purple Protoss at cross positions. We have uh, Carriario. Never sure on the side names, but that is in fact Snow. So we're going to have a PvP lineup between these two. Should be a fun one. It's going to be on Polypoid cross position, which means we could have a really fun macro match between these two. I will say. I feel like Snow is the stronger of the two, but Shuttle's no slouch and oftentimes can show us things. Although I say this as there's been a meme video released. As of today, the moment I'm casting this, there's like a meme video about Shuttle on the uh, Brood War and StarCraft subreddit. Go figure. Pylon opener, nothing too crazy on either side. It, I do want to see a PvP heads up where it just ends up being... I don't know that we're going to see it here. I, what I would really love to see is an interesting PvP where it ends up being just a heads up two gate reaver mid game play and just mirrored reaver micro on both sides with an engagement to just see if Snow's legendary reaver micro holds up against the opposite S tier level. Gateway dropped for both players long standard build. I would be a bit surprised on the four player map if they do option for the uh, two gate build. Yeah, it looks like they're going to drop assimilator both sides. So everything again mirrored right off the bat. I do also want to note that on polypoid, since you got the natural expansion, you do have kind of the interesting fallback areas, even going from cross positions, because even if you're going all the way around, you kind of end up on either the high ground here or some sort of so point being that I feel like there's this interesting play that can happen on Polypoid in comparison to, I don't know, trying to think of a map that's just like not interesting in the center of the map, center of the map altogether. Anyway, Cyberdex Core Warping, somehow shuttle a little bit behind on supply. I don't know if that's due to mineral boosting or what at these days are just maybe the favorite spawns that goes out of my level of play, knowing which spawn is favored for Protoss mineral production. We do have an initial scout now moving out for shuttle. It looks like he's maybe going to go across. No, he's just going to go up right hand corner for it. So he's going to go for a clockwise scout. Snow also making his way out with his initial scouting probe. His zealot is going to go ahead and blockade the ramp behind him to try to deny information. He's also going clockwise a little bit later. So he's going to have a touch less information we do see a range skip never mind there's the range kicking in but a, a little little time later there not enough that it's actually going to make a significant difference but uh it is there also want to note that there was a zealot skip on shuttle side of the map so a few more minerals going to be in his pocket as a result maybe one additional probe which we're seeing on the scoreboard already dragoon swapping positions just the Dragoon being out there gives a good amount of information, but Shuttle, yeah, not going to get any sort of info. The Dragoon on the opposite side looks like, yeah, and I, is Snow even going to try it is the question. So he's trying to, oh, he's going for a cutoff lane to blockade the probe. I believe that's what this is. I think this is turning into a linebacker situation where if the probe tries to sneak out of position and make its way around, this probe is going to go and go for uh, and try to get in its way to open up the Dragoon shot. This Dragoon moving its way out, and never mind because Shuttle making his way around, I thought it might open up a scout. Instead, now Snow has his probe scattering, trying to get back alive. And ooh, is it gonna happen? One shot away. Oof, so a an interesting thought, but instead is punished for it. The Dragoon humiliated, returning back home. Shame on you. Led to your friend's death. Uh, looks like we're seeing a one-gate robo-build, by the way, from shuttle opposite side. Mirror builds, so I might actually get my wish here. So despite the zealot skip in the initial play, we are seeing both players, at least at the initial stages here, going for identical, uh, identical build orders, although shuttle a little bit ahead. One, because he took out a probe out on the field, but also because he skipped a zealot and got a little bit Got one additional probe out. Observatory first on both ends as well. The Dragoons out in the field missing this probe that has snuck through the lines. However, we have a Dragoon and a Zealot waiting, but I think it's going to be able to dive into that natural expansion and confirm 
a lack of natural there. So, well, maybe not. So sweeping back around. Sees two Dragoons at the very least, which at least signals that nothing screwy, but also might kind of give a good view of the overall troop count. Robotic support bay in comparison to Nexus here. So finally seeing a deviation in the overall build order. Robotic support bay coming out somewhat later. So Snow wanting to favor both information, getting the superior reaver count that is going to put him economically behind just in pure build order. Both players very much in the dark. Observers sneaking out on both directions. And now Snow lining up. And so this is going to be, so this Nexus just about finished. So what do we want to call that? Six seventh done? Random fraction. And Nexus just now being dropped for Snow, which is going to, I mean, it's just going to be a lot later. So his economy is going to be heavily impacted. So advantage to Shuttle and Snow is going to need to do something to follow this up. To get an advantage he is i believe going to be able to get that observer in to get eyes to at least recognize that scenario as it is a reaver follow-up from shuttle so snow is comfortably going to be able to walk around with that observer in his opponent's base we do have a shuttle feels weird saying a shuttle a troop transport we got a troop transport with a reaver alongside to attack shuttle the player on the opposite side second gas is being spotted and also that active nexus which lets Snow know, yeah, he's got to be aggressive at some point and do something with this. Shuttle Observer able to walk over that edge, see that the Nexus isn't up. He's got to be smiling to himself. Yes, I'm in a stronger position as a result. He hasn't tacked on a lot of tech to utilize that two base advantage as of yet. He's still sitting on the two gateway count. A little bit of a skirmish outside and ooh, Snow able to get at least two Dragoons out of that. And the Reaver pushing, already pushing some of these troops back. Is he going for shuttle speed behind this? Yes, he's got shuttle speed upgrading as well. The Observer kind of checking other corners. We do have a troop transport for shuttle on the opposite side with his Reaver. But he's going to be... I'm curious where the rest of his attack force is. This is cross positions, keep in mind. So it is a, a ways to walk for Snow. So he's going to have to get some critical shots off. Two Zelt scooping up so it looks like he is going to go for some sort of attack across the edge. Just now trying to get a shot off the pylon. Does manage to get some burst fire on that Reaver. But just going to take, it looks like, yeah, just trying to take that forward pylon out, maybe to open something up, grabbing his second gas down to the natural expansion, which is now active. So that does put Shuttle in the red here. So despite having the superior, ooh, big shot on that forward Dragoon. Interesting, didn't do full splash there. Took that hit. And Snow moving out on the map with an additional probe. I wonder if he's thinking of, is he going to sneak something? Or does he just want to use this to go for straight up scouting? The pylon block is giving a good amount of time here for Snow to catch up in the supply count. But you can see the additional gateways now being dropped from shuttle. He's like, well, okay, I can't build anything. I might as well get some more infrastructure down in between. That single py So that single pylon getting wiped out. Providing a little bit of a buffer. But still, Tittle of a Dune drop behind this. Shuttle still uh, with an advantage, although as the supply block comes... So Snow still down three workers, but otherwise about even in supply. And the probe... I'm curious about this probe. What its story is. A Reaver actually sneaking out along the exterior edges. I don't know if Snow had that spotted or not. Double Reaver out on the front taking some shots. We do have a pylon warping in at the 3 o'clock, so let's see if Snow is able to get wind of this. He is somewhat distracted with his attack force on the front. Ooh, lost a lot of Dragoons in that engagement. One Reaver extremely weak. Yeah, I don't think he saw this Reaver because he was concentrating on the front, and so Shuttle able to sneak in and get a huge hit on the probe lines. Wow, completely decimating that army. And now the Reavers, yeah, pushing forward. Oh, one of them getting wiped out. And things looking ugly now. Not good. So, and the Reaver's still active for Shuttle. Looks like it's got another grouping of probes to even get another shot off on. I mean, this is a huge worker lead already. Is that going to be a dud? That is a dud. And the Reaver finally going to get wiped out. But double Shuttle now walking into the main. Opportunity 
to try to even things up. The Zelf's distracting the Dragoons. One Dragoon wiped out. If someone can get back in this with Reaver play alone, I would say yes. Yeah, Snow's the guy to do it, although he's only got the single Reaver remaining. The Dragoons, with those troops distracted, walking into the natural expansion, trying to push the issue, because otherwise it's basically GG. But the double Reaver now walking that natural expansion, the Observer wiped out as well. And Snow left with close to half the workforce, down 30 supply at the end of all of those engagements, which is unfortunate. So starting to make his way up, the Reaver dropping along that edge. I am shocked that Shuttle gave him the opportunity position, but it looks like it is going to be a dud. I'm actually curious if Flash figured out a way to make the... Because one thing I saw in the games with Flash, where he was playing Protoss as random, is for whatever reason, he didn't get a lot of duds. And I'm wondering if he's figured something out with Reaver Micro to prevent the duds from happening, which would completely blow open the game for Protoss altogether, if that is in fact the case. Shuttle now getting aggressive out on the map, going to get some free Dragoon kills over the high ground. Another speed shuttle making its way out with the double reaver, maybe to go for a counterattack. We do have an observer still spotting in the base, but we've got four Dragoons there. Ooh, not a lot of defenses there at the natural expansion, though. Instead, the shuttle going to engage, try to buy some time for Snow in the front. He's getting some nice hits out of range as the Dragoons are pushing forward, really slowing down that attack force and dissuading just a full-on game-ending engagement from Shuttle overall. So misread where that was headed. He needed to keep himself alive before anything else. Probe out on the front going to go get wiped out. Lack of observers because this robotics facility has been so active producing Reavers and Shuttles. And Shuttle just making sure that that third wasn't grabbed. Again, Snow being drawn back to try to defend home base. Significantly down in supply. Probe walking up to try to look at the pure troop count. Three Reavers on the low ground. But still a much larger Dragoon force. And I'm also surprised that Shuttle isn't using this opportunity to try to expand behind this. Because he instead walking into the natural expansion. The worker count is somehow even because Shuttle stopped building workers, maybe feeling he was in such a strong position that he could just roll Snow over. But Snow, through just some Weaver engagements and fanning out, has actually managed to slow that attack forward. Still a huge supply lead from Shuttle. And he's, and Snow's basically boxed into his natural expansion. I'm kind of, ooh, Dark Templar. The Protoss auto counter, uh, counter maneuver, the kind of comeback play. We do have the Templar Archives. Missed that happening in the background. Somehow Snow, yeah, able to get that worker count back up and sneak some DTs out. Also going to take some distractionary pot shots. Some Dragoons have managed to fold out as well. Yeah, sneeze commentary in here. But yeah, the DTs, let's see if the, the shuttle gets wiped out before it's even able to drop those. Going to be the next question, depending on the angle here. So we'll keep an eye. We'll try to keep an eye on the front. We'll also try to keep an eye. No observers here. So at least a Dark Temple are going to be able to make its way out. The observer pinned here. Cannon lands, but it's quickly going to get wiped out. But an observer, two observers overhead. So nothing happening there. While there was a distraction, though, Reaver's getting wiped out on the front. Still a 30 supply lead for Shuttle overall, but he has not grabbed an additional base. Dragoon's actually engaging from the rear. And now Shuttle, yeah, he's denied this third, but he hasn't grabbed his own. Still a 40 supply lead because of the differential and all that economic damage early, but Snow, oddly enough, has the tech lead with his Reavers. And Shuttle now evacuating, and this gives an opportunity potentially for Snow to Maybe grab his own third. Maybe go for a counterattack. Some High Templar fielded right there. And Shuttle still playing. Where is... Okay, he's got some Reavers out here. He went basically Gateway Man. He doesn't even have the Templar... Okay, does he have the Templar Archives anywhere? No, Templar Archives is just coming online. So way behind in the overall tech lead. Snow wiping out the troops here at the 6 o'clock. And that might be some well played. Ooh, the Reaver's getting caught. Just walking out in open field, so one of them getting wiped out, so ignore 
that aspect, but honestly, it's a 30 supply lead for shuttle, but a good Psy Storm pelting and some good Reaver play could mitigate that. Ooh, and losing your Reavers wholesale like that definitely could mitigate that. Dragoon's trying to escape the upper right. Snow retreating. Might lose, what, six, six, seven, no, six Dragoons for that, but that's well worth it. And walking up and, yeah, starting to establish that third. Double Reaver now in the main. Shuttle mostly out of position. His initial High Templar making their way out. Reaver's getting wiped out and a complete retreat from Shuttle. And losing a few probes and all of a sudden Snow has the worker lead. And again, Shuttle is not grabbed a third. Sorry, he's now grabbing a third. Finally. All the troops completely peeling back. Supply counts are actually even. Yeah, Shuttle's throwing this one, I gotta say. Snow grabbing that interior at 3 o'clock. I don't know if I want to say that Snow is, uh, that Shuttle's throwing it or Snow's just really abusing some advantages here, but I feel like throwing. He could have grabbed that third for quite some time and applied pressure. Snow's done a fantastic job of harassing and staying on top of macro behind it. But yeah, all of a sudden the game is even again. Shuttle getting pushed back in the main. I don't know how that Dragoon didn't absolutely explode right there. More dud. Shuttle drawing a lot of his, troop, his troops back, at least able to wipe out that Observer. That Observer was providing forward warning for that Shuttle to be able to draw out. But Snow with a pocketed attack force that maybe could assault that third. His third again is going to come up later behind Shuttle's base, but a, a high Templar drop now at the natural, blanketing it. And all of a sudden, Shuttle is hurting for resources. Go figure, a lot of his army is at the third though, and Snow might be making a huge mistake at attacking up into this. Plus one weapons upgrade as well for Shuttle. So his troops, despite being at uh, previously a tech disadvantage, do hit harder. An Archon in the midst, some high, a lot of High Templar. Okay, now getting that troop counting. Now it looks like the, the tech advantage is more on the opposite side. We've got five High Templar versus four High Templar, three Reavers walking their way up without any shuttle coverage. But another drop of Double Reaver into the natural, able to again, so one Reaver getting wiped out, but able to clear out more workers there. And that puts shuttle potentially all in. Yeah, he's gonna dive into this third, blanketing Psystorm above. Huge side storms for snow, though. Over that wall. I don't know if he has enough troops to make it happen, though. Because this is still a big supply, an army supply lead. But some Reavers are in the rear. There are some cannons. Still might be too much. Zealots starting to push out. Keep in mind, there's also that plus one weapons advantage. Reavers are gone. I think side storms been expended on both sides. Snow, I think, got the better end of a lot of that side storm. Take it back. One side storm left. Two Reavers remain, three cannons. Ooh, eating a big size storm there with what's left. And Shuttle going to back out of that third. And those Reavers have been active this entire time. Behind this, just sneaking around and wiping out troops. So, yeah, and keeping that probe count low. So now Shuttle can't resupply that army where Snow is happily mining it as natural. He's got that third up and running. He didn't eat a single size storm over that portions so snow has taken it back after being at a huge deficit in the early stages of the match wow the memes are real seeing it with our own eyes here uh yeah so shuttle ooh. shuttle now in a lot of trouble down a massive amount of supply has half the worker count of Snow overall. He does have the triple nexus to rebuild rapidly, but he's gonna have to weather the storm otherwise, moving out with another grouping of troops. I think the army count's still just about even, if I'm doing my math right, because that's what, 60 supply, 60 supply versus 60 supply of troops. Observer along that edge is going to be able to see the relative position for a picture in time there. But Shuttle, yeah, now sitting back. Now he's building workers and starting to macro up. 
rather than get aggressive. Is Zealot going to go ahead and blockade that 9 o'clock? We also have that previous pylon at the 12 o'clock. And Snow going ahead and grab, grabbing the 6 o'clock in the midst of this detente and maybe wanting to drop some Dark Templar again in the main. We do have three Dragoons there in position. Is there an Observer here still? The Observer is no longer over the main. Weaver is wiped out, but yeah, probes are going to have to scatter. Not that there was a lot of mining to be had. High Templar waiting to sidestorm into the darkness there. Maybe to... Yeah, the Observer going to forward spot, so not into the darkness. Oh my goodness. This has been an absolute probe. Snow has something against probes. He really does. We're all workers. He is a true capitalist where he really feels like the workers should pay and pay for their crimes and die just for being them. So now Snow's going to be able to establish the six o'clock base. He's like a, a meme of it, kind of like the top hat guy in Monopoly. Ugh. Poor, poor probes and workers. No mercy for the proletariat today. <laughs> Double Reaver making its way across. Now shuttles absolutely all in. He needs to attack at some location to make it happen. That Dark Templar <laughs> uh, shifting positions, it looks like. Shuttle dedicating a lot of his army actually to try to find it. And Snow actually able to sneak it out of vision. These troops might be able to crash at the six o'clock to wipe that base out potentially keep it competitive. Reavers redropping at the natural expansion again. Just worker abuse. I would say someone call a union, but it's not that era anymore. Shuttle might be able to, if he focus fires this nexus, might be able to wipe that out. But while that's happening, he was able to take out that Dark Templar at the main. Good side storm in between. So getting some good trades here. Trying to morph an Archon to keep it light, but didn't focus down the Nexus, so this Nexus is going to hold, and I do believe that Snow was able to walk out with a good portion of his army, so I guess the the only workers that survive are uh, Snow's workers. There's some metaphor in that, I'm sure, but I'm not going to make it in the midst of whatever this match is. Re Resaturating, it looks like more Dragoons making their way out. Snow now with a massive, massive lead. Probes finally able to go back and mine what's just the vestiges of that natural expansion. If Snow just gets his army concentrated and hunts down what's left of Shuttle's army, that should be it. Shuttle going for another attack here at the six o'clock and Archon is waiting. Some High Templar with Storm also waiting. They're just gonna go ahead and drop, yeah, ooh, lots of side storms before they're even able to engage. Some counter side storm is gonna be there. But now, yeah, Shuttle's going to have to attack uphill with a weakened army. Yeah, just going to call GG right there. Completely dropping that match. Oof. I got to say. So kudos to Snow for coming back and just brutalizing Shuttle's economy. But Shuttle dropping that match entirely. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thank you for listening.